here's part two where I'll start to strip down all these hard drives and at the end of it hopefully we'll see what we've got so first thing you notice guys are these torque screws there's generally six on a hard drive and then there's a hidden one it's just beneath this plastic sticker somewhere it's, it's generally I've found on these ones I've been looking at it's down towards the bottom left and all you have to do is just get something to prise open the sticker there you go and there it is hiding so we'll get these six screws out and take it from there I have to do it old school today because I've left my torque screw set at work but I will put a link down below if anyone's interested to the one I got off Amazon came two days later was well impressed so let's just take these screws out these screws are made out of stainless steel so let's get these off okay so all the screws off so now what we're going to do is take this lid off there we go now this top people see it think oh nice shiny it's brushed surface finished it's stainless there you go magnetic stainless okay guys so the first things i'm going to take off is this neodymium whatever you call it magnet uh these are very powerful and all you scrappers out there know about these anyway this is not new news to you guys so for good money on ebay what they use them for i have no idea so again it's just a couple of these torx security screws and that top one should just pop off okay guys the next thing i'm going to take off is this little black plastic bracket plenty of uh, gold plate in there guys on the pins that connects it to the uh, they call that an ide board right simply just pop this little arm off um small amount of copper there the bit we'll be interested in will be at the very end the tip there'll be gold there and if i'm not mistaken some in here i'll go through all the individual bits um as as and when we process them okay so we need to take this disc out and there's generally about six torque screws holding this little aluminium plate stroke disc which retains the platter there we go guys sorry about the glare of this platter that should just lift off now there you go there's your screws and sometimes it's aluminium sometimes it's stainless okay guys just remove the platter now these generally i'm led to believe can be either glass ceramic or aluminium and they are coated with a micro fine layer of palladium newer hard drives the motor is press fitted into the casing so you generally have to can't remember which side it is you just have to bash it out through that side or bash it out through that side to get the motor out. i'll just go and grab another hard drive an older one and show you the difference so here we have an older hard drive from the same pile i got yesterday and you can see that this one's held in with three screws as opposed to being a press fit so we'll take them three screws out and i'll just show you exactly what i mean you know, taking them screws out was an effort right so that should just pop out he says <laughs> a bit of help watch your ears there we go how long has that been in there and there's your motor okay guys we're pretty much there we've just got to take this um this board off and this bit of gold ribbon cable here and obviously deal with pressing this motor out and that's pretty much done so we'll just remove this uh, i think they call an ide board i'm not 100 sure And there we go guys okie dokie we'll just prise off this ribbon cable here with this fancy dancing tool there we go prise it off you can even get a bit of snips and lightly grip it don't snip it in two just to roll it back and peel it off and there we go nice bit of gold okay guys so that's pretty much a hard drive broken down into its individual parts as i said i've got to get this motor out by bashing it through there's the platter 
Um, here's the gold sort of bits we're interested in. Uh, this connector plug, there's a bit of a ribbon cable there. Um, this little contact you just saw me pop off. There's gold on the end of this. I'm oh, sorry if it's not focusing. On the end of this, I think, I'm not sure, is it called an actuator? No, I'm not sure. Um, obviously gold on the board in various forms on the pins. Uh, there'll also be, hopefully, copper within that board. So we'll try and get that out of it. Um, I'll put a link somewhere up the top for a video I, do, I did uh, using caustic solder and hot water to take the green film off the board. So what else have we got? Well, we've got this, I can't pronounce this word. Is it neodymium or didium? I don't know, magnet. Like I say, these go for reasonably good money on eBay if you can put a bunch of them together. I have no idea what people buy them for though. No idea. Well, hey, if they want to buy them, I'll sell them. Uh, this is this ring. Um, on some of them, the aluminium. This one, it's stainless. Um, and this is non-magnetic stainless. As I mentioned earlier, this cover plate is magnetic stainless. As you can see, it picks it up which is uh, going to reduce its value. Okay guys, the screws will be stainless, so that's about it. It's uh, completely broken down, and I'll get on to the other 22 and get back to you in a couple of seconds, but for me, it'll be the rest of the afternoon. Okay guys, see you soon. Okay guys, remember what I was saying before, where we had to knock the motor out? Well, I used this punch, put it in the vise and banged it through, and you get the top casing of the motor released that's aluminum aluminium call it what you will it will be classed as dirty because there's a uh, there's a ferrous band like a magnetic band on the inside of it it's just a case now guys of uh, popping these off I'll just put a screwdriver underneath bend it up a bit and voila there you go so there we are guys, 23 scrapped out hard disk drives, just the outer case in the aluminum, aluminium. So I'll pop them on the scales and see what they weigh. Apologies for the scales guys, old school. So we have just over 4 kilos, so 4.1, it's a bit blurry, yeah 4.16 kilos which is just over 9 pounds for our American friends. Well guys, it's been an absolute stinker of a day in the shed. It's been about 38 degrees Celsius. So anyway, here we go. So there's the collection of Neo, you know what they're called, magnets. So they'll probably end up on eBay. And here's the actuators, and they'll be processed for the copper and the gold, and then the rest can go in the shred. Selection of the copper motors. Here's part of the goodness. All the gold cables, the foils, the little pins. Nice pile of platters. I believe it's very difficult to get the palladium off. I heard you needed about a thousand just to get a, a, a very small amount of palladium. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with them. They go well in the garden, spinning around, keeps the magpies away. Here's the cover plates. Some of them are magnetic, some of them are not. The older ones seem to be more of the uh, true stainless. Incidentally, on the small laptop hard drives, the sticker, which is here, and this was on an old one, that's copper on the back of that. It's the first time I've ever seen one of them. And here's the circuit boards, which will be uh, recovering all the gold, copper, and any other bits and pieces we might manage to find along the way. So what I think I'll do, guys, is these will get listed up on eBay. We'll get rid of them straight away. The stainless steel stroke magnetic, non-magnetic cover plates, they'll head off to the scrapyard, so I'll find a, a true weight for them, along with the aluminium casings. I'll do some more research on the platters. These will go in, I'll get a price up just for Dirty Alley. The screws, unless a model engineer wants them on eBay, it's not really worth listing them, so I'll just pile them in this tub here, along with the rest of the screws. They're a bit of an inconsequential um, well, byproduct of this uh, this little um, this little project. All right, guys, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one when I can report back as to whether these sold on eBay 
and the prices for these and the casings and also an update on where we're going with these i think i'll start off with these boards first due to the uh use of the chemicals being a longer process all right guys take care thank you very much see ya